What up champs? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy Cyril Zuma. I am back with another very quick episode and a really a quick tutorial for myself. It's something that I'm learning recently. So the Canon EOS R, I've been using this for close to two years now and I'm really getting to the video side of things, recording videos and playing around with sound. And I recorded a few vlogs and I did not have a microphone so I was using the internal sound of the Canon EOS R and let me tell you something, it was horrible because it kept on autofocusing so I could hear the autofocus noise which I'm sure you can hear right now. Well there's always a quick fix for that and all I can tell you is that what you need to be able to do is buy an STM lens which is a Canon STM lens, it'll be really really helpful, that's one of the tips that you can really use for yourself so the s stands for silence that's something that i really i learned recently that it actually won't you know pick up all this focusing or auto focusing noise the lens that i'm using right now is the canon 24 to 70 lens i don't think it is designed for video purposes but there are video specific lenses that actually are very quiet and won't auto focus the second option though is to get yourself an external microphone this is just one of external microphones that I have. So I use this one for, I use this for my podcasts, but you know, you can actually use this too for your own audio. So I'm going to be using this Behringer C1U uh, microphone to test out the difference and basically show you guys what the difference is when having an external mic and actually using the audio that I'm using right now. So leave a comment below, make sure you leave a comment below and tell me actually if you can hear the autofocusing noise and is it bad? And then we're gonna come back to this bear ringer. I've got, I've got it connected to my laptop over there and I'm actually gonna use GarageBand and use external audio and then come back into Premiere Pro, put the audios together, sync the audios together, mute the other one and basically use this order from here. So let's test that out and take it from there. All right, champ. So I've got the mic, the Behringer C1U, plugged in now onto the laptop, recording some audio. I'm holding this about five fingers away from my mouth and I don't know if you guys can hear the difference now in terms of the audio. So I'm using this Behringer microphone which I've always been using for my, my vlogs and my podcasts and really the sound difference should be huge, it should be humongous, I think you can hear me so much clearer now you can you actually don't hear the auto focusing the crazy part is that the camera still is auto focusing like i'll move out of the frame so let's do a quick test let me just do that and come back i can basically hear it auto focusing but because i won't be using the audio coming from internally you actually won't hear the auto focusing at all so really quick option quick solutions two quick easy solutions for yourself get a designed uh, lens a canon design lens or nikon lens but an stm lens a video specific lens that actually doesn't autofocus while you are recording or put some external mic so you can either have a microphone like this have one that goes on top of there have booms whatever you want just get yourself some audio i've got two different types of audio interfaces one way i actually can put the microphone on the camera and then the other one just holding it like this so i wanted to test this c1u also just for my own podcast and for my own youtube videos if i just put it like this will i be able to hear all the audio and is it clear enough thank you guys for joining me on this episode man please make sure that you like and subscribe share with your friends until the next video peace